Bring you all the latest on the vaccine race. The results of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine trials are now out. The phase one to two of the vaccine has been successful. As per the UK-based medical journal Lancet, the vaccine is considered to be safe, well-tolerated and even immunogenic. 70% of the people had headaches or fever after vaccine was administered to them. Researchers say that these symptoms were managed very easily with paracetamol. No serious adverse reaction was recorded during the trial. The trial was conducted on 1,077 people. The Oxford study has successfully completed phase 1 and 2 of the vaccine trials. Now, the phase 3 of the vaccine trials will be conducted on children and people of diverse ethnicities. The Oxford vaccine can train the immune system making antibodies in white blood cells that can fight coronavirus. The vaccine development by the university's Jenner Institute is being supported by the UK government and AstraZeneca which will support the production phase. The vaccine is based on a weakened version of the common cold that causes infection in chimpanzees. It also contains the genetic material of the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2, the strain of coronavirus that causes the COVID-19 illness. Currently, there are more than 100 vaccines being developed and tested around the world. And beyond, correspondent Stuart Smith joined us earlier from London. Listen in to how big this breakthrough is and how long we need to wait for phase 3 trials. Well, it's almost unrivaled globally. The US and China have also entered human trials, but not yet get, uh, received the same results like this. This is a very good sign because, as you said, it's both seen to be safe and it works, producing not just uh, antibodies, but also white blood cell T cells, they're called. And that was the purpose of the vaccine, to create both antibodies and T cells. And indeed, this is only the phase one trial results, uh, with only a thousand people from patients in UK hospitals in April and May. They are uh, undergoing phase two and three trials to make sure that these results uh, are, are uh, consistent within a larger and broader population. Those are ongoing in Brazil and South Africa, both both to make sure that the uh, virus is safe and works in a broad variety of different people, but also because the UK's rate of infection got down to a point so low that it would take forever to uh, find out whether the phase one, two and phase three trials have been successful. So unfortunately, they had to go to a location uh, where the rate of infection is much greater, such as Brazil and South Africa. Yeah, that's the important question, isn't it? The researchers on the trial say that we could expect results at the earliest late August, possibly going into September. But the big factor that affects that the most is simply how many people are exposed to this, vac to this vaccine in the remaining time. So a bit of a funny situation where if people in the countries uh, who are given the vaccine, if those countries are experiencing a high rate of infection, will get results quicker. Of course, no one wants that, but that is uh, the case. So the more people that are exposed to it, the quicker it gets. What then becomes the next question is how this vaccine gets out to people. The UK has already uh, pre-ordered the first 30 million doses of this vaccine. The United States, 400 million. The European Union, 400 million. But also India, Serum Institute, has pre-ordered a billion doses of this vaccine. So some to go to Indians, but also there's an agreement there with AstraZeneca, the UK pharmaceutical company, that some of those doses that have been pre-ordered for India will make their way to low and middle income countries.